Most people in America are familiar with the word Tesla. We are more today than ever before because Tesla is now a name of a car brand that is quite expensive, but it's based on not only ergonomics for a human being who's a driver, but also on economics of a way to use basically something that's other than gasoline. You see, long ago, Tesla was a man who was a scientist, and that scientist was trying to figure out a way to produce energy for people that didn't cost him a thing, so that people living in poverty, similar to his family, could have energy and electricity and have a way to cook and clean and refrigerate their food and be okay in the world. The problem was that the oil tycoons and the gasoline uh, merchants didn't really like him. They didn't like him because obviously it would impact the sale of kerosene for kerosene lanterns in the towns of his community. And if electricity that was not really established until Edison came along was possible back then, it was something that the corporate giants wanted to squelch because they didn't want the regular human being to have that yet. You see, corporate giants often are the impeders of progress for lower economic groups. At the same time, prowess in leadership is the ability to share what you have with all groups. So the concept that we're really talking about in community abuse and mobbing is that community leaders or just a few individuals have decided to tap in through social networks that are usually inappropriate and a way of getting people who are actually working for different corporations but are working at low-level positions to help them abuse and retaliate and restore in their mind a person back to themselves and that's the lie they make for all time. In life we have moments of time to speak the truth about mobbing and mobbing is that situation where a law enforcement officer has gone out of his way to attack a life and utilize retail employees that he is not the supervisor for and he is not the person who pays to do their job to give out information to collect these additional receipts of what someone finds so that he can take that in and utilize it to make litigation abuse or reporting on things that are not his right to do. It is a manager violation of federal law stalking, and it is a technological abuse that people are using their telephone to be squawking about what some individual who's a private citizen is doing in their life and livelihood.